we give him the honor. He alone is worthy. We declare you're good, Lord. We declare you're excellent. We declare you're mighty. We declare you're faithful.
And he's the one that makes you qualified. So why don't you give him your heart this morning and pour it out to him just to tell him how much you thank him, how much he means to you. I know this for sure. There's no fire that can burn me, no battle that can burn me, no mountain that can stop me. Why? Because morning we thank you for your love we thank you for your power we thank you Holy Spirit that you woke us up this morning with the breath of life in our bodies we thank you Holy Spirit that we can come and we can enter your gates with Thanksgiving and enter your courts with praise we are so thankful this morning for your love we are so thankful this morning for your peace. We are so thankful this morning for your grace. We're thankful this morning, God. We're thankful. We're grateful. We're grateful for life. We're grateful for health. We're grateful for eyes, that we have eyes and we can see. We're grateful this morning that you have a roof over our heads. We did not sleep on the streets last night, but you had us. You kept the roof over our heads. You kept electricity in our homes. You kept us warm last night amidst the elements, the coldness, the battles of life. You've been protecting us from before the foundations of the world and you continue to protect us. 
And for this, this morning, Father, we are so thankful and we are so grateful. We're grateful this morning, God. We're thankful that you've been holding our hands all throughout our journeys in life. We say thank you. Thank you for your protection. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your anointing that shines upon us morning by morning. New mercies I see. All I have needed, your hands have provided. Great is your faithfulness to me. I'm reading from Psalm 68 this morning. Verse 1 and verse 1 to 3. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. Let them also that hate him flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so drive them away. As wax melts before the fire, so let the wicked perish at the presence of the Lord. But let the righteous be glad. Let them rejoice before God. Yes, let them rejoice and be exceedingly glad. Psalm 68, verse 1 to 3. Father, we bless your name. We bless you, God. We exalt you, God. We worship you. We bless you. We magnify your name. Let God arise and let every enemy be scattered to thee. Let God arise in our homes. Let God arise over our families. Let God arise over our houses of prayer. Let God arise over nations. Let God arise today, God. Arise in this place. Scatter our enemies. Scatter the plans of the wicked ones. Scatter the plans of the of the evil ones, God. Arise this morning, O oh God, and take up your rightful throne upon the mountains of our lives. We invite your presence. We invite your Holy Spirit to lead us this day. Lead us into all truth. Lead our pathways today, God, in righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. Show us the pathway we must take today. Establish our lives today in righteousness. Establish our tasks today. Establish our assignments today, dear Lord. Let your Holy Spirit orchestrate and order our steps in your word. Order our steps today, God so that we may walk in good paths, the good paths that you have prepared for us. For you have prepared such good paths for your people. You have prepared pathways of righteousness, pathways of prosperity, pathways of abundance. All good things are prepared for us today. And so this morning as we come into this prayer garden, we ask you, Holy Spirit, to prepare good paths for us. Prepare our pathways with prosperity. Prepare our pathways with peace today. Prepare our pathways with love. Prepare our pathways with abundance, bountiful blessings, showers of blessings. Let showers of blessings fall upon your people today, God. As God arises, every enemy is being scattered by the power of Yahweh Elohim. 
the power and the strength of God shall cause every enemy to be scattered. The mountains melt like wax at the presence of the Lord. Our God is mighty in battle and mighty to save and strong to deliver. We bless you this morning that you are later laboring, causing our pathways to be laden with all good blessings. You're causing our pathways to be loaded with all good things. The blessings of the Lord makes rich and adds no sorrow. And so today, God, we connect our mind with the mind of Yeshua. We connect our spirit with the spirit of Yeshua and we say thank you for loading us with blessings. Thank you for loading us with peace. Thank you for loading us with your shalom. I decree over your life a cloud of glory covers you today. A cloud of glory will cover you as you move throughout your day to day. I speak over your life, a cloud of glory will cover your children, your sons and your daughters. You will move in the cloud, you will dance in the cloud, you will cook your meals in the cloud. A cloud of glory covers us today. Wherever we go, the cloud of glory moves. When we move, the cloud of glory moves. When we stand still, the cloud of glory will stand still. I decree and declare, the cloud of glory covers us. The the cloud of glory goes ahead of us. The cloud of glory protects us. We are in the cloud of glory. Hallelujah. No enemy will be able to find you. No devil will be able to search you out. No devil will be able to attack your children. We are in the cloud. There's a cloud. I see a cloud this morning forming in this prayer garden. There's a thick white cloud. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. I see the angels of the Lord. They're blowing a cloud. They're blowing the midst of heaven. The mist of heaven is blowing this morning. There's a cloud, there's a cloud, there's a cloud. A white thick cloud is entering into your homes even now. The cloud of glory covers us. The cloud of glory will cover your children. The cloud of glory will cover you as you are getting ready to prepare your meals for the feast this evening at sundown. The cloud, you will cook in the cloud. You will prepare your, me your meals in the cloud. Angels are blowing the mist of heaven. Ooh, if someone can just write the mist of heaven is blowing in my home. The mist of heaven. Ooh, it's like the dew from heaven. I feel the dew of heaven falling upon my face this morning. Right here in this prayer garden, the mist of heaven is blowing over houses of prayer. The mist of heaven is blowing over families. The mist of heaven is blowing over the nations. The mist of heaven is blowing. The glory of God is blowing and it's breathing upon the families this morning. And the Lord said, the cloud, this mist is what forms the cloud. There is a cloud being formed right now over your homes. There's a cloud being formed in your bedrooms. There's a cloud being formed in your prayer rooms. There's a cloud being formed in your churches. My God, the mist of heaven, it's the mist of heaven. The mist of heaven is being formed right now over our lives. This cloud is engulfing us. This cloud is engulfing us. Brittany, I just released them. The cloud of heaven to engulf you this morning. Let the cloud of heaven cover your life this morning. Brittany and your son, the cloud of heaven covers you. The mist covers you. 
protection from all evil, protection from all harm, protection from all stress, all stressful cases be dismantled this morning over your life. All stressful situations be dismantled over your life. I declare over your life this morning, no more stressful situations. The cloud of glory covers you. The cloud of glory protects you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I release the covering of the Lord over your life, Joycelyn. Let the covering of the Lord be over your life this morning, Joycelyn and Glennis Harrison, the, the covering of the Lord be over your life this morning. The cloud of glory covers you. When you move around today, the cloud will move with you. The enemies will look for you, but they will not find you. You will be hidden in the cloud. Just as the children of Israel were protected by the cloud, they were protected by the cloud during the day and a pillar of fire by night. The cloud goes before you this morning. Arise, O oh God, arise over my life. Let God arise and scatter every enemy. When God arises, he arises with clouds and lightnings and thunders and pillars of fire. God is arising over the people of God today. The cloud comes to you this morning, Minister Shalina. Let the cloud enter your homes. No stress, no, no situation will overwhelm you. You are in the cloud. Namika, the cloud covers you this morning. Namika, receive the cloud in your homes. Christine, Dindia, let the cloud enter your homes and cover you today. The cloud of glory is moving. The cloud of glory enters your home, Pastor Merlin Samaru. Harry Samaru will be covered under the cloud. Jason will be covered. Shellyan will be covered. Keith will be covered. All the grandchildren, they're in the cloud. It's the cloud, beloved. I saw a cloud forming this morning. I saw the cloud forming this morning as I began to pray. The Lord opened my eyes to behold the cloud forming. Chandra Samaru, the cloud enters into your homes this morning. The cloud of prosperity, the cloud of peace. Shane, the cloud comes to your homes today. Let the cloud cover you. Let the cloud hide you. Nadine, the cloud enters into your situations. The Lord says the cloud of prosperity is coming. I want someone to agree this morning with me. I see the cloud forming as a man's hand in the heavens above. And the Lord says, I hear the sound of an abundance of rain. The Lord says, get ready for the rain because the cloud is bringing the rains. The abundance of rain is coming. The cloud is bringing the rains of prosperity over your life. I want you to decree that this morning. I hear the sound of of an abundance of rain. Ooh, Ooh, Something big is coming. Something wonderful is coming. God is going to bless you this morning, beloved. Clouds is forming. The clouds is forming. Don't be dismayed by what the enemy shows you. Don't be overwhelmed by what the enemy is showing you. The Lord says, Whose report will you believe? I believe the re Lord's report. I see the cloud forming as a man's hands in the heaven, as the, the, the fist of a man as it is being formed. And the Lord is causing me to hear the sound of the abundance of rain. My God, at sundown today, we will celebrate the opening of the Feast of Tabernacles. This is not an ordinary feast. This is the Feast of the Lord. 
this is a divine appointment with the Lord. I see the, the cloud of abundance forming. Many of you, this cloud is entering into your homes. This cloud is moving before you. This cloud will enter into your businesses and into your situations. The Lord says, fear not, worry not, for I have seen your cries. I have heard your travail and I will come through for you. I will fight your battles. I am fighting your battles for you, says the Lord. I will make a way for you where there seems to be no way, said the Lord. The abundance, I hear the sound of an abundance of rain. The rain clouds are coming, beloved. The rain clouds are coming. This cloud is coming with solutions. May you receive solutions from heaven today. I hear the Lord say solutions is coming. Solutions is coming. The Lord will fight your battles for you. The Lord will fight your battles for you. The cloud is coming with solutions. The cloud is coming with the solutions that you need. Lord, hide your people in the cloud. Hide your people in the cloud. Bring the solutions that they need. Solutions for hard cases. Let the Lord bring solutions to us today. Grant your people divine solutions. I release over your life divine solutions. Divine solutions is coming in the cloud. Blessings is coming in the cloud. The anointing is coming in the cloud. Greatness is coming in the cloud. Prosperity is coming in the cloud. Whatever you need, it's coming in the cloud. It's coming in the cloud. The Lord will fight your battles. Minister Juna, the Lord is fighting your battles. And the Lord says, I'm bringing you the solutions in the cloud. I'm showing you divine blueprints in the cloud. Get ready to receive heavenly blueprints. Heavenly blueprints, it's in the cloud. Nolene, the Lord says, heavenly blueprints, it's coming in the cloud. Nolene, the Lord says, I'm working out a situation for you. There is a hard case that has been troubling your life. But the Lord says today, as the Feast of Tabernacles opens at sundown, I'm going to bring you into the victory. Receive the victory this morning, Nolene. Victory is your portion. Victory is your portion. It's in the cloud. It's in the cloud. Every solution, it's in the cloud. It's in the abundance. It's in the abundance of heaven. Chandra Samaru, the Lord says to tell you, I am training you to be a woman of God. I am teaching you how to be an effective minister. You will declare the gospel of Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord will come out of your mouth like liquid fire. As you spend time in my presence, as you spend time in my word, I will equip you and I will raise you up. I will train you and I will help you to be able to encourage the nations through the word of God, through your mouth. That's the word of the Lord to Chandra. I hear the sound of an abundance of rain. I see the glory cloud forming over your homes. The glory clouds are forming this morning. The mist of heaven is in our homes today. 
prophetess gems glory the lord says to tell you i am the lord thy god i am giving you power to prosper i am giving you power to make all things right again where the enemy have wronged you in the past the lord says to tell you that i am restoring i am the restorer everything that was stolen from you over the past years even five years even seven years the lord says to tell you prophetess gems i am bringing you back double you are about to receive the sevenfold restoration for every time the enemy stole from you seven times restoration receive your portion Brittany the Lord is saying to tell you there are there is a word from heaven locked up in your bellies the Lord is preparing you to proclaim the gospel over the nations of the world and your assignment is coming you're coming to the birthing stool and the Lord says to tell you Brittany that just like that a baby can be born in a day in the book of Isaiah 66 it says can a, can a baby be born in a day as soon as Zion travails she brings forth the Lord says to tell you prepare yourself to open your mouth to proclaim the good news over the Caribbean nations because you have been called as a watchman you've been called as an intercessor and the Lord is about to use you out of your bellies shall flow rivers of living waters over the Caribbean islands let the Lord use you in this hour and in this season says the Lord I release that word over to you receive your portion this morning Brittany that's what all the trouble is about it's the bird pans it's the bird pans it's the bird pans out of your belly shall flow rivers of living waters says the Lord get ready to proclaim the gospel over the Caribbean nations such a strong presence this morning a rich anointing I hear the sound of an abundance of rain. Christine Dindial, as you connect to this altar of prayer day after day, and you are praying with us and you're fasting, I see a fire. It's like a liquid fire. I see an angel bringing a liquid fire, and that liquid fire is moving across every square inch of your property. I do not know where you live, Christine, but there is a lot of space and a lot of um, land space and all around your home. I see an angel bringing liquid fire and the angel of the Lord is burning up the works of the enemy on your property, the north, the south, the east, the west. The Lord says to tell you, I am blazing a fiery trail. I am burning out the works of the devil on your territory no enemy no witch no warlock no evil doer will be able to step foot in that territory because i the lord have taken dominion over that land receive your portion this morning James the Lord says to tell you this morning I have given you power in your foot to trample and dismantle every wicked scheme so the Lord says to tell you the enemy that you see you will see them no more all you have to do Shireen is use your foot and trample down the devil trample down the works of the enemy crush the devil under your foot crush the serpent under your foot the Lord says anytime that you feel overwhelmed use your feet and begin to trample trample it down because there is a power in your feet there is a power in your feet to crush the neck of serpents and scorpions said the Lord you have been given double power in your feet double power double power when you trample on the works of the devil you will not be only trampling for yourself but you will be trampling down the works of the enemy for yourself and your husband says the Lord 
trample down the works of the devil. Put the devil under your foot and trample it down, says the Lord. to use you in this last hour and in this end time season the Lord says as you find your place because it's almost as though you're still looking and searching but the Lord says as you find your place and you find the altar that is working for you the Lord says to anchor yourself so that you can grow roots at that altar so that the Lord can begin teaching you and training you to raise you up as an end time minister that's the word of the Lord to Nadine anchor at the altar that works for you and so that deeper roots can grow the lord is about to cause you to grow deep deep roots so that you will be unmovable and unshakable in this last hour says the lord i'm just going to prophesy to a few more people as i see your names come up on the screen then we're going to go back into worship and then I'm going to bring on a powerful morning devotion. Satumbro Sotokusata. Naomi, Naomi, the Lord says to tell you, as you love Israel and you pray for the peace of Jerusalem, I will work out a certain situation in your life for you you your business it's I'm hearing business business booming that's the word I'm hearing for you Naomi business booming business booming so the Lord says to tell you continue to love Israel continue to pray for the peace of the Jews continue to partner and covenant at the altar of um, messianic altar and the Lord says business booming business booming that's what I'm hearing for Naomi receive your portion this morning business booming minister Lystra the Lord says to tell you your word this morning is new wine skin this is what I'm hearing the Lord say to you the Lord says I am stripping off old wineskin from the past year, 5780, and I'm causing you to bring forth a new wineskin, 5781. So you're going to begin to flow in a new wineskin. You're about to flow with new wine, says the Lord. So the Lord says to tell you, just allow the stripping process of the old wineskin. It may feel hard, it may hurt your physical body, <laughs> but the Lord says to tell you, you will be very, very pleased with the new wine skin that he's about to put on you for this new year. New wine is your portion. Minister Lystra, new wine, new wine, new wine. Receive your portion. Wickham, the Lord says, I will bless you and I will bless your children and I will bless your husband because of your prayer. The Lord is saying he has been hearing your prayer. I don't know what your prayer have been um, for your spouse and for your children and your family, but the Lord is saying, I will bless your husband because of your prayer. You have been standing in the gap as an intercessor for your family. And the Lord says, I am the God that hears and answers prayer. The Lord is saying there is a new season coming to your spouse. I'm seeing, I'm seeing him like getting baptized of, of some sort. So the Lord is saying, begin to pray for family baptism. And I, I, I know that you're a Christian, you're an intercessor, but you may have to go down in the water with him again. Um, for baptism so the Lord says to tell you get ready get into the baptism class by faith and your husband will will go down with you in the water and the Lord says when he goes down in baptism he will rise as a new as a new man in Christ that's the word of the Lord I'm hearing for Wickham uh, for your spouse 
So receive the word of the Lord. Marisol, Marisol, the Lord says to tell you, I have called you and I have chosen you to shine my light over the nations of the world. Continue to allow my glory to be seen in your life. Continue to shine my love and my light. Because in this new year, 5781, I'm going to put something into your hands. I see the Lord placing something in your hands. It's a small golden box, like a golden box. And inside of that box, I see a golden vial. There is something that uh, is going to come to you. And it's coming, and, and it's coming, it's going to be so precious. Something that's so precious. God is giving you something precious. It's a very precious gift that the Lord is placing into your hands. I see it. It's a golden vial of some sort. And when you open this box and you receive this golden vial, uh, your ministry is going to go to another level. Your ministry is just going to shoot up to a whole nother level, impacting nations, says the Lord. Just be careful of the enemies. Be careful of those that have wrong concerns, wrong alignments, wrong wrong alignments will cause a depletion of your glory wrong alignments will cause a depletion of your energy so it's as though i'm not sure if you feel tired sometimes if you feel a little overwhelmed at night um the lord says some things have to fall off some things some alignments some people they're just pulling and sucking your energy like uh spiritual vampires so the lord says i am severing those spiritual vampires off of your life and I am causing you to realign with people that can pour into you that can strengthen you for this new level in your life. May you receive the word of the Lord. Ask the Lord to rain down this morning as that glory cloud fills our home.
Right now, we are in the midst of a supernatural war. This is a war between light and darkness. It's a war between good and evil. It's a war between Christ and Antichrist. This supernatural war is a fight to the finished. It's not until you get tired or you get weary. We're not doing this in our strength. We're doing it in God's strength. St. Paul gives this battle cry. Put on the whole armor of God. That is a command. It is not a request. It is for your benefit. You be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. He says you put on the full armor of God so that you may be able to stand firm against the schemes of the devil. He says for our struggle it is not against flesh and blood, but it is against the rulers, against the powers, against the world forces of this darkness, against the spiritual forces of wickedness in heavenly places. He says so therefore, you better lay down all your earthly weapons that do not work and take up some weapons that will actually have benefits in your life. He says, take up the full armor of God so that you may be able to resist in the evil day. And having done everything to stand firm, he says, you ought to just stand firm, therefore. In this passage, the Apostle Paul introduces almost for the first time, at least this overtly, he introduces the concept of spiritual warfare. Paul says, endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Fight the good fight of faith. We're more than conquerors through Christ. St. Paul says in Colossians 2.15 that on the cross, quote, Jesus was spoiling powers and principalities and making a public show of Satan. The Bible says, for this cause came Christ into the world to destroy the works of the devil. The message is that Christ went to the cross to defeat Satan. Now the question, the point I'm making here is this. You cannot believe in redemption of the cross and not believe in the purpose of the cross. And the purpose of the cross was to destroy a very real devil whose objective is to destroy you. The Apostle Paul says you have an enemy and he's very, very real and he's banking on the fact that you will forget he is there. There is a satanic force in this universe that's trying to deceive, divide, and to destroy, and he's being far too successful. And there'll never come a time in your life where Satan decides to leave you alone. But the fact is, the same Bible that tells you there is a real God, tells you there's a very real devil. With demonic forces, highly organized, totally ruthless, committed to destroying you. And that those demon powers will attack your mind and attack your body and attack your marriage and attack your finances and attack your children and attack your relationships and attack your church. But it's not your spouse who is the problem. There's an enemy. It's not your boss who is the problem. There is an enemy. It's not even your own personal internal turmoil that is the main problem. There is an enemy who lives to stir dissension and division and to see jealousy and envy to call to you and I not to have any peace of mind and peace of heart. And the enemy wants, or Paul wants you to know how strategic the enemy is, y'all, because he says, listen, the enemy is scheming against you. Somebody say scheme. 
Satan attacks you because you're God's child and he hates God's property. Satan attacks you because you're the light of the world and he's the prince of darkness. Satan attacks you because you're the truth and he's the father of lies. Satan attacks you because you're a soldier of the cross. You're anointed. You have the word of God. You have covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. You can take the sword of the truth of God and attack the gates of hell. You're a threat to him. You can only have one chance of survival. Put on the whole armor of God and fight back. Take the word, take the blood of the cross and the authority of Jesus' name and drive demonic goons back into the back alleys of hell because the victory is ours through Christ the Lord. God has given you authority. Use it so that you can have victory and peace in this life. Paul says, I'm going to give you some weapons that work. And he gives us, traditionally people say six, but really I believe there are seven pieces of armor. I want to tell you briefly what they are. He says you need to make sure that you stand firm in verse 14. Gird your loins with truth. He says then you need a breastplate called righteousness. But he doesn't stop there. He says you need something for your feet. They better be shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Then he says you need a shield and it's called faith. He says in verse 17 you need a helmet. You need something to guard your mind. You need a helmet called salvation. And you need a sword of the spirit which is the word of God. And while most people stop there, the Apostle Paul does not. He says, even though these six things are important, you need one more thing. In verse 18, he says, and pray. And so pray. If you want victory in your marriage, would you make sure you are a man or a woman of prayer? If you want victory, teenager in your high school or student at your university, then you've got to become a person of prayer. And if you say you want to live victoriously and abundantly and yet you don't pray, then I don't believe you. Because prayer is how we live in the abundance of our God. We need to realize that there's a spiritual realm that is actually, honestly, more real and more important than this realm. It's just that we ignore it because we can't see it. But it's there. We are in a war. We are soldiers in the army of God. And Jesus is the captain of the host. He's given us his name. He's given us his word. He's given us his blood. And when I finally began to learn, when somebody began to teach me that the devil was behind most of my problems, some of them I was creating myself, but the devil was behind most of them, that I had authority over him, God has given us weapons and he's given us armor. We need to know how to use our weapons and we need to make sure that we are wearing our armor on a regular basis. Spiritual warfare for spiritual people. How many of you have had it with the enemy and you're ready to learn how to fight him and win the war. All right. Do it in God's strength. Be strong in the Lord. Say that with me. Be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord. This is God's fight. It's not yours. It's God's victory. It's not yours. It's God's glory. It's not yours. It's God's kingdom. It's not yours. It's God's strength. It's not yours. Put on the whole armor of God and fight and fight to win because the victory is ours through Christ the Lord. You can never exhaust God's resources. You can never exhaust God's resources because he can do exceedingly abundantly above all that you can ask or think. You can see his mighty power, but when he gets through, he's not exhausted. He has much more strength ready to give you from day unto day. He can defeat any giant that's before you. He can produce dreams in the desert. He can produce manna that will fall from the sky. He can send cloven tongues of fire in the upper room. He can walk on the water in the Sea of Galilee and sow you the thing that you think is about to destroy you he can use it for a sidewalk to save you when you grow weary he can make you to run like Elijah 40 miles before the chariot when you grow faint he can give you strength he can send you power that you can't begin to touch you cannot exhaust God's power our God is an awesome God he is full of grace and truth he is of the almighty El Shaddai the conqueror of death hell and the grave 
He's the conqueror of sickness and death. He's the conqueror of powers and principalities. He's the conqueror from Calvary. He's the lion of the tribe of Judah. He's the Lord of glory. And he's coming soon with power and great glory. This is about the eternal souls of men and women. This is about your sons and your daughters. This is about the future of this nation. It's time for those who name the name of God to suit up and show up. This is a fight to the finish. And I intend to win it with the help of Almighty God. Put on the whole armor of God and stand beside me. Right now, we're in the midst of... He can defeat any giant that's before you. He can produce dreams in the desert. He can produce manna that will fall from the sky. He can send cloven tongues of fire in the upper room. He can walk on the water in the Sea of Galilee and salvage you. The thing that you think is about to destroy you, He can use it for a sidewalk to save you. When you grow weary, He can make you to run like Elijah 40 miles before the chariot. When you grow faint. He can give you strength. He can send you power that you can't begin to touch. You cannot exhaust God's power. Our God is an awesome God. He is full of grace and truth. He is of the Almighty. El Shaddai, the conqueror of death, hell, and the grave. He's the conqueror of sickness and death. He's the conqueror of powers and principalities. He's the conqueror from Calvary. He's the lion of the tribe of Judah. He's the Lord of glory. And is coming soon with power and great glory. This is about the eternal souls of men and women. This is about your sons and your daughters. This is about the future of this nation. It's time for those who name the name of God to suit up and show up. This is a fight to the finish and I intend to win it with the help of Almighty God. Put on the whole armor of God and stand beside me and take the word of the holiness of the Father. Fight the good fight of faith. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. And to those of you who name the name of Christ, stop allowing Satan and his demonic goons to, to destroy your marriage. Put on the whole armor of God and fight back. Quit allowing him to attack your health. The Bible says by his stripes we are healed. Quit allowing him to attack your finances. The Bible says God will rebuke the devourer for your sake. He will make him give it back to you sevenfold. Stop allowing the devil to rob you of your peace because Jesus Christ is the Prince of Peace. Stop allowing Satan to rob you of your joy. In his presence is the fullness of joy. Do you want it? Then fight for it. Do you want it? Then fight for it. Thank you so much for praying with us this morning. Thank you for agreeing in prayer at the altar of prayer today. 
What a powerful morning of intercession. What a powerful morning of praise. What a powerful morning of declarations and decrees. This is Apostle Anna Edwards saying thank you for praying with me. This morning I'm declaring a day of progress and prosperity over your life. A day of fulfillment over your life. I decree and I declare a day of sustenance over your life. You will be sustained today by the Lord. You will be divinely protected. You will be divinely cared for. The anointing of God will flow from the crown of your head to the very soles of your feet today. And you will walk in great victory. I speak the victory of the Lord over your life this day. This day is going to be a great day for you and your loved ones. I bless you today. I bless your families. I bless your loved ones. I want you to have a blessed, joyful, rich, and rewarding day. Until this evening, I'm going to be right here on World Harvest Channel, opening the great Feast of Tabernacles. It's a feast of thanksgiving, celebrations, and rejoicing. I want you to have your glass of wine ready because when I open the feast, I'm going to be toasting to celebrate the greatness of our great God. Amen. So the Lord richly bless you, everyone. Have a wonderful, joyful, rich, rewarding day today. Shalom.